Welcome to another Trailblazer episode and in the last one I got 87 Slayer so we're going to try to get that trident today and we're going to go into Barrows but before that I do want to get my ranged up a bit because well if I go to Barrows and I get Carols and I can't even equip it well that would be kind of awkward so I'm very close to another relic by the way 880 points only left and that is going to go very quickly in the more mid to late game that I'm currently at. So uh, hopefully we can get some range level with these arrows that I have now and then go into the Kraken grind. With the arrows that I had, I got 59 range, so I still have quite a while to go until level 70, but I have 42 left on the task. I am taking a lot of damage and I actually did fish like 200 monkfish for this, so I could sustain, but hopefully we can get a trident fairly soon. Oh my god, this guy actually saved me so much food. For some reason, I thought you couldn't protect magic against these attacks because you can't do that against the boss. So I thought it was just like magic but not protectable. Apparently, these ones you can protect against, which makes this in general way easier. So after doing about one and a half task of cave krakens, I realized I was very close to the next relic and when this dies, I am actually going to unlock the next relic. Let's see, zero points left onto another relic and oh my god, I have to go here. So why I wanted to complete this before trying to get that trident and getting into barrows is because the passive effect of getting the third relic is that I get even higher drop rate on things. You can see here, items from some sources will be three times as common. So that is extremely, extremely good. And the perk I'm going with is the Botanist. It is extremely overpowered. Farming cycles occur every one minute instead of five minutes. And they grow five times as normal. That's pretty much what that means. Resources gathered from farming are multiplied by two meaning I will get double the amount of herbs from farming for making, restores, and prayer potions for the Nightmare and Saradomin brews. Mixing potions always result in a 4-dose potion, and there's a 95% chance of saving your secondary ingredient. So good, and stats boosted above their base level will no longer drain back down over time. Yes, this means if I drink a super combat potion at the Nightmare, that potion will just stay there forever until I drink a Saradomi brew and I can just bring sharks instead. So that is the one I'm going for for sure and we now have three times the drop rate on uniques. Let's actually see how many Raynars I get from one single patch. I'm by the way 35 farming right now and I had three Raynar seeds so I actually planted them. So you see, I get two every time now. I'm not sure, I don't think I get more experience. It doesn't seem like it. But uh, yeah, that's a good amount of herbs from one patch for being so low level and only using normal compost. There we go, that's the uncharged trident that took me around 180 kills, so quite a lot. But we're now going to charge that and I'm actually going to do the Merlin's Crystal and then the Holy Grail quest because that gives an insane amount of prayer experience, which is going to be very good for Barrows. I thought that every quest that you couldn't actually do at all in a zone was unlocked automatically when you unlocked an area, but apparently not. Merlin's Crystal was not auto-completed and you just can't complete it by going to Lady of the Lake because that's in Taverly and you need to have Asgarnia unlocked for that. And I do need to complete that to be able to do the Holy Grail quest, so I actually cannot get the prayer experience from that now. But that means we're going to do some barrels right now and I had 600 charges I could put on my trident, which should be enough for quite a while. First barrels chest, definitely way quicker now than with the old method I used. Let's see what the first one is. Verox plate skirt already. Let's pick that up, make sure it's not on the ground. Perfect first drop, let's equip it. Nice. 50 points. Can we get back to back? We cannot. Oh, there we go. After, I think, seven chests, a Carol's coif. Actually a very very good item, but uh, well, I don't actually have 70 range, I can't even use it yet. Chest number 20, and by the way I do get so many death runes and chaos runes that I can basically have infinite charges on the trident here. So let's get chest number 20. Ooh, Darok's Helm, that is actually so good. Because, well, I'm not going to do this, I'm pretty sure I I can't do this at all. Okay, Wilderness already, yeah, I can't do that. But yeah, Darok's Helm instead of the Mystic Helm. It's actually a massive upgrade. Oh my god, double chest, Arim's hood and Guthan's helmet. 
That is what we like to see on chest number 22. Okay, I am so lucky right now. So many items. Toric plate legs. Actually, I think they are more tanky than the Varex. I think this is against melee mostly. Oh, it's actually more against ranged. I thought the Varex was more uh, towards ranged, but I guess not. Oh, that is the big one. Keras leather top. Now I just need the bottom and uh, I can actually do the Kraken boss then very easily. 1.7 mil, look at that. Perfect, that is the tank chest plate I wanted. Let's see the upgrade. Oh my god, like 40 and everything compared to the Ruin one. Pretty much full barrel set now. I should change the hood by the way. I, I don't think I should be using the RM hood for this. I'm actually going to try to do the fire cape now that I have some better battles gear and I'm hunting to get some prayer potions right now and I do have a lot of snake grass already but I got this granite longsword. It is obviously not very useful but I want to see if it's a task. Okay it's not a task so I guess it's just Alk. How much is it actually alking for? 20k that's not too bad. But yeah I'm done with barrels for a bit because I do have a pretty decent set here for the fire cape. And now that I have the botanist perk, I will be able to make quite a lot of prayer potions easily with the snape grass. And I am also working on getting the obi shield because the elemental shield is terrible for the inferno, or not the inferno, the fire cape. So uh, I'm going to go and get that, I'm at 34,000 tokol, I need 67.5k, buy the shield and then we'll do the fire cape. Oh my goodness, look at that. Obsidian cape, I am going to use that meanwhile doing the fire cape. It has a better defense bonus than the uh, Ardoin cloak. By the way, I've actually gained like 300 points because I've picked up the different weapons. You can see here this one. I got like, I can't remember, the stab melee weapon and then something else as well. And just equipping each and every one of them is 100 points each, so I think you can get like 500 points just by getting all the different weapons. Finally got enough tockle to be able to buy the shield and look how much of an upgrade this is. It's like 40 in all defenses and then a 5 melee strength, which is actually super good now that I can't actually get a defender. So uh, that should be another task. Yeah, 100 points. I, I think this staff and maybe something else as well, there is still points I can get from. But I'm not going to go into grinding uh, more tockle right now. I think these might be a task, I'm not sure. The staff should be one. And this is the one I already completed. I completed this one of Big Cape as well. I'm not sure if these are a task. How much are they? 600 tockle? I don't even have that. Well, uh, I'm on wave 58 now and I should probably bring better food than only monkfish because in terms of HP I have to wait a lot of the time. That's why I only have, well, it's been 57 minutes in this run and I'm literally just standing here with the 4 times HP recovery rate relic and just waiting for my HP to get up again, but uh, it is not looking too great right now with the prayer potions I have, but uh, you can always do your best and see what happens. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh my god, there we go. 90 Slayer as well. On the uh, Jad kill. Do I get the pet? No pet, but uh, yeah, 300,000 Slayer experience, and of course the uh, 250 points, I think, for equipping a fire cape. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to barrels, but it is mainly because I just want a Karel's crossbow, and that's why I also went for 70 ranged, which is a skill I've been lacking in in uh, most of my combat stats. But I'm going to go for a Karel's crossbow because then I only miss the skirt, and I don't really necessarily need that. It would be, of course, good to get it. But then I have a good range setup to be able to do the grotesque guardians. I do have the brittle key, so I can just go in there pretty much whenever I want to. But half of the boss is with ranged, so I didn't want to go in there with, like, a U short bow and try to kill it that way. Maybe a uh, Karel's crossbow? Ooh, Varax flail! Uh, that is my second Varax item, I think. Oh, Torx plate legs, that is the first dupe, unfortunately, but how much is that to Alk? Because I am not going to keep uh, a duplicate. 165k, that's a lot of money. Another Torx plate body, that is the second duplicate, so just more Alks. Missing just one coin to make that number perfect, but another duplicate yet again, unfortunately, another Guthans helm. I'm getting a lot of money here, at least from Alk. Actually, that's only 61k, surprisingly. 
Okay, that is what a unique that I really want looks like. Arum's a robe top. I might be using that for Barrows. 60 plus magic, but it has nomadic strength. And uh, having more accuracy doesn't really matter when they all have zero magic defense anyways. Okay, we only miss one more item now, which is the crossbow, which is admittedly the one I need the most at this point. But if I do get it now, I have the full set, which is going to be so good to have. A third Guthans Helm, I guess that's just more Alex. Verax Helm, that is now, I think I only missed the chest, right, for the full set in Verax. And getting actually any full set is pretty good because it is a task to get a full barrel set. I'm not sure if it's 100 or 250 points, but uh, I guess we'll see. Torag's Helm, I do not have the Torag's Hammers, but otherwise that is all the items for the Torag set, I think. Yeah, it is, so only the Hammers on that set. So I'm getting close to a lot of sets being completed, just missing one on like three sets. So I've done quite a couple of chests, I'm at 96 now, and that is the Arum's Robe Skirt. I only need the weapon for the Arum's set, and then I have the full set, and I actually got a couple of more items. I got the Guthans War Spear, which is a unique... And I think I got one more unique, but I don't remember which one uh, that it is, but still no Carol's crossbow. At chest number 114, I finally got Verax Brassard, which means that I now have, have a full set, and uh, I will equip it in just a bit for the points. This is going to be chest number 135, and it has been pretty much two and a half days, or two days maybe, of killing barrels, and I still have not got the Carol's crossbow, so unless this is the one, I'm going to take a break from Barrows, and unfortunately I didn't manage to get the Carry's Crossbow. But uh, I will definitely go back here in the future and try to get it because it is so good. And it is not the chest I got it on. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to show you guys all the items that I got from Barrows in 135 chests. It's going to be pretty good to look at it in my inventory. This is all the Barrows items I managed to get, and I actually did so much Barrows that my Verax plate skirt actually broke from pretty much being like almost 100%. So I, yeah, I did a lot of Barrows, and this is all the items that I have. I have four, or actually five, Carol's leather tops, which is just insane. And I have the Carol's bottom, I have the Carol's hood as well, there you go, Coif. But of course I didn't get the crossbow. And the only set that I managed to complete was the Verax set, and I actually did equip it. I said I would show you guys, but uh, I accidentally, I didn't even notice I had them all in, in my inventory, and I just equipped them, and I got 100 points for that. So that's how many points that task was. But the tab is worth 18 million, and this is with three times the drop rate, so I guess if you uh, do 135 chests, I, I, I guess you could assume to get around a third of that. So it is not the most amazing money making, but uh, nonetheless, this is some gear that I'm going to definitely use in the future. Let's just have a look at this. So nice to have this. I don't really need the staff, so I'm going to have a very good magic outfit in general. But with that, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to definitely go back to Barrows to get that Carrier's Crossbow in the future. Just didn't want to prolong the video for like a week, <laughs> because you never know how long it's going to take. But I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did... Please leave a like and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.